Welcome back to Let's Play Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon. I'm your host, Alt Director Jester. We are going to warp somewhere else to where we are from from here. Yeah. Using that amazing dragon power we got now. Now, only up until playing this, I finally understand, but uh, where Koryuta took us the first time is actually a different island in itself. So, we're going to Key, which is where the, uh, the uh, travel agency was. This is really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come but, on, yeah, you can explain but, it. But check this out. We're going to take this dragon, Koryuta, the dragon we saved in the last episode, to Key at the coffee shop, which is right by the travel agency, like I said. And we are going to go to said travel agency. Once I figure out where it is. There it is, up there. Are you going to tell them you stole their dragon? I didn't steal him, I helped him. Besides, uh, technically speaking, he's still on the clock. Oh, wow, he's getting paid overtime for this. You're doing him a favor, if anything. Because I warped straight back to Oido Castle instead of going into the village and checking out the coffee shop, I can't go into the town where we ended up at after we defeated the boss last time. So I'm going to use the travel agency to take the same dragon to go to the place where we need to go. Making it count. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that because you didn't trip? Yeah. A, is that because you didn't trip a flag? I didn't trip a flag or something. I just okay. went straight back when. Really... <laughs> oh wow, that's you. You can't call that a bug. It's just you didn't do what the game wanted you to do. Oh well. At least there's a way to fix it. <laughs> but the thing is, he takes us right to where we need to go, though. <laughs> no. No, you need to pay attention to what the game says. You need to follow its rules. So why did you want to go to the castle in the first place, huh? Well, I, mean, I just wanted to see this lovely view again. I don't, I don't really understand. I don't, well, whatever. So now we wind up at the travel agency in the other village. Folky Poke Village. In Shikoku. Is it really called Foki Poke? Hey, yeah. Nice. So we'll, so we'll rock Goemon for this a little bit. What is our current agenda? The children have all been stolen. <gasps> no! Uh, I'm not kidding. They're all they're all been stolen and forced to dance. Oh, oh fate worse than death. Dancing. So now we're, now we're gonna go figure out where they are. Oh, I thought he was a thief. See, there we go. Someone look for the children because the person that finds the children, I've got a fantastic... Oh, well, we gotta go. Yeah, yes. you're on, dude. You're fantastic on. reward. Do you get a child? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. You, 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 you. Kind of got me all excited now. So where we're going now is we're going to head to where Koryuta dropped us off after we beat the boss in the last episode. So this is backtracking. Yeah, but we'll talk to the plasma man, because I don't think I explained him well enough. He always tells you where you need to go next. All for ten Rio. All just, just, yep, just for just for ten Rio. It doesn't really matter, though, because we got all the money in the world now. <laughs> Here you go, plasma man. Here's a tip. Buy yourself some pants. One does not simply enter the Dogo Hot Springs. Oh, wow. They did that before it was a thing. Exactly. Wow. So yeah, Mount Kompira, and then the Dogo Hot Springs, and then the coffee shop. That's what we're doing this episode. So, did, so. so does he literally give you a point for point where you should go next? Yep. Well, that's kind of handy if you're lost. I think at one point they even say, hey, let's go visit the plaza, man, see what we gotta do next. <laughs> this, this is the restaurant, it refills health. You know, it's always nice. Just add to the atmosphere and the setting, I guess. No, I like it. It's like you go into a town, you expect there to be places like this. Yeah, Foki Poke Village, seriously. <laughs> oh, do the Foki Pokey. Is that the Maybe. joke, or am I just getting it wrong? I, I, I don't know. Love this song to death. Can we just say that for every song? There's a couple I don't like. Oh, like okay. Out of, like, the, what, 82 songs that are on this or oh whatever. Oh, gosh. I don't know if there's 82, there might be like... I forget! Post text! Tell us! Wonderful. But of that, there's like two or three I don't like. 
Okay. Well, is the entire OST on this cartridge? Were they able to fit it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Sound wow. test. Oh, well, excuse me. It's unlike Goemon's Great oh, Adventure. <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's unlike Goemon's Great Adventure where they couldn't put the other uh, Hinodo, Hinodobu Kageyama song on the, on the OST. You know how it's just silent at the title screen? Yeah. It was supposed to be a song playing. Oh, oops. Is that because uh, the game well, was too big? Let's get to the computer's coffee shop and see what's going on here. These people don't seem to mind that there's demons everywhere, but whatever. Falling boulders. I thought they were pushing those down the hill, just saying, Oh, it's that Goemon kid again! <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, in the first game, everybody can kill you. <laughs> I forgot about that. These are the people that hold a grudge. <laughs> he keeps destroying my pottery! F him up! God, this is such a good song. I don't even have anything to say. I mean, this is a standard platforming jump and hit shit stuff. Well, you can tell me about the heads on pikes you're finding on the way up here. Oh, I don't know what those are. <laughs> those, that's, that's some weird shit. No kidding. And they were following you, too. They had control over the pikes. But this leads to a temple. A <sighs> shrine, actually. Let's start by going in here. See if we can talk to anybody in here. Ah! Get it right. So, okay. We'll go ahead and throw five coins into the offering box. And we'll get help from God, whatever that means. But hey, that's about the only direction we have to, to, to what to do with this place right now, so let's do it! Maybe that was a translation One, error. Two. Three. Four. Pay it to dog! And... The God of Money. So now we have fire. Really? Metal of Flames. You hold down B, charge up your shot, you can throw fire, man. Dude! So let's demonstrate. Oh, cool! Is that only for Ryo? Yep. This is the only... Only Goemon can do this, because only he can throw fire. Only he can throw coins. So you're literally burning money! You're literally throwing burning gold at shit. Ow! You have such justice and such righteousness that you burn the money that you're holding. Can you imagine, like, getting hit with a melting piece of gold? Oh my god. It would turn into a blob by the time it hit you. And look how much money we have. Two triple nines. You're the luckiest person alive. And how much fire we can throw. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you what? could call that firepower. Well, uh, you don't need to go down here. We can just warp right back to Foki Poke Village, but that takes too long, so uh, it'd be more fun to just go down the mountain again because we get this awesome song again, and it's fun to just go downstairs, at least try to go downstairs. <laughs> you mean more like jitter downstairs? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I, I, that's not intentional. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 like, I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to jump, but it's, it's like I jumped at just the right angle where I, la I landed exactly on the corner. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Going on just falls down the stairs. Try not taking fall damage now. Well, all right. Now we're going to go back in, into town and go at a different exit to the village. But I think there's one more thing to check first. Do the Foki poke. Because you're supposed to go up the. You were supposed to go up the mountain and then come right back down, and then here you are. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into the village and head out another way, basically. Okay. There's one thing to check first. In this hay barrel, <gasps> this haystack, is a silver fortune doll. Whoa! Yeah. So burn it! Well, we can't get it yet, actually. Do you have to be Sasuke? No. Oh. We, it's a power we don't have yet. Oh. So we'll be back later to pick that up on our way to do the rest of the game. We'll get that after the second dungeon. Okay. Another great song in the Tosa region. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I actually have the volume up so I can hear it. It's so nice. It's so great. I'm going to stay here. Just head on through. 
No Silver Fortune dolls hiding here, to my knowledge. What did this composer... What else did he do? Or she do? The other Goemon games. Is that... And that's it? I think it's like a production team. I'll have to look that up. I'll have an answer for you later. Because I would love to see, like, this musical team in another game. Well, they were in another game. Goemon's Great well, Adventure, Well, besides the, the other ones in the other series, thank you. So... Vine Bridge. The idea is to cross very quietly. You see? There's gaps here, and you see how the planks are a different color? Yep. Uh huh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. So, we need to just walk uh... very, very slowly, very carefully. Don't sneeze. Do not sneeze. Sudden movement, you will you will drop like a rock. Like it'll just you drop. That's it. <laughs> Looney that, Tunes ask, "Where's the Acme Corporation when yeah, you need phew, it?" Yeah, you. Yeah, you're you're done. That's it. Just just drop. Okay. You got oh, one over God. here. You can just jump over these. Oh shit! What about this one? On? <laughs> oh, you're so close. So, uh, see what I gotta do now. Yep, yep. Skip ahead. Clever. You 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 you. Actually, I think I'll show off that there is a ladder here so you can get back up pretty easily, and shit. The ladder glitch doesn't help you all the time. So we'll go up properly this time. Alright, so here we go. We know what to do now. Alright, cross very carefully. Go! <laughs> very carefully. And there we go, got it. Nice. Alright, got it now. Now we'll skip ahead. Look at all that health. Yeah. So nice. It's my favorite soundtrack. It's so good. Yep. All right, so we're just gonna cross. We're gonna cross. And another one, and <laughs> yep. And yeah. <laughs> Screw the rules. Cross very quietly, or you can be a boss. <laughs> oh yeah. Who needs rules? Ha! I spit on your rules. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> you can literally on. screw the rules because you've got money. Now we're in EO, which looks like... I don't know what kind of place this is. EO sounds like an onomatopoeia, as somebody would say. EO! What? That, that's, that's what it would sound like. EO. EO. Yeah. You see somebody's, like, jumping in trash cans. It's like, EO? <laughs> Maybe that's what the wafting stench would make. I like to think the level designers kind of gave up on that one. <laughs> just, uh, just a staircase with... Uh, oh, man. I gotta get to When watch. all else fails, spiral staircase. Go for it. All right. So, Dogo Hot Springs, right here. Yes. All right. Take care of that guy first. Yep. Dead coin. And... Crap! Hmm... If you look over here, do it. There's a small hole. Break in. Darn it! Can't get in it, unfortunately. <laughs> oh huh. crap! That's something, all right. Well, luckily, there's a coffee shop right over there. Skip time? Not quite. Oh, okay. Let's talk to this dude. Oh, another thing about the dragon. Yeah. yeah. I control the dragon, man. Don't worry about him. Summon the dragon. I see the small hole, and only a dwarf can get the hole that small. Okay, only a dwarf, huh? Okay. Yeah, we can't get in the hot springs. I've already figured that out. <laughs> Thanks for that bit of information. There's a dwarf in Zazen Town. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, but he's mean. He's really mean. He, well, actually, he probably isn't. But hey, that's where we gotta go next. Zazen Town. Yeah, get out here and blow up that flute and blow your heart out. Is she the only one that can use the flute? Yes. Okay. Maybe Samaro can play the flute, but fuck him. He doesn't get the flute. No! <laughs> to Zazen Town we go! I am here to cover up loading times. I don't know why it's got to load. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just here to look cool. Well, 
it is a game where you can ride a dragon to, to and fro Japan. I mean, that's a pretty cool thing, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. Those, the, it's so sad those games are few and far between. Now it's all going to be realistic. I mean, yeah, we have we have Lair, we have Skyrim, we have Panzer Dragoon series, and shy of that, not much else. Gaming needs more dragons. Bring them back. So, we were here looking for a dwarf. And I'm getting a little lost here because I'm going by memory, and I forgot to trigger another flag. This game is all about flags, apparently. And the Golden Temple here is where we're going to end up. But, there's a really happy priest block in the way. <laughs> yeah. Are priests seen as, like, higher beings in Japan? Like, not higher beings, but somebody of authority? Um, Just like they kind of are here? So, well, sort of. I mean, not authority like, you know, they're worthy of respect. I mean, because there's dirty priests all the time and all that shit, but... Right, right. You know, they're just... Yeah, whatever. So. Ushiwaka is the guy we gotta go talk to now. Let's see what Ushiwaka's up to. Because, yeah. <laughs> I, I want one of the doors to stay closed one time and you just face plant into one. <laughs> <laughs> I expect that to happen. You Woo! just open... Open doors with your chest, just headbutt them. Just, oh! <laughs> just, yeah, the chest bump a door open. <laughs> it's like the most bro thing you could do in this game. All right, let's see what Ushiwaka's been up to. Ushiwaka, this kid? Yeah, this guy who made us go fishing, and oh my god. What? He's tiny. What? If you eat eight sweets at the Golden Temple, they make you shrink. Oh dear. Well, so now we gotta go to the Golden Temple. I hate to say it, but uh, Ushiwaka drowned. No, you can, no, that dude can run on water. Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, he does look fast enough. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's not making it through puddles anymore. Have you ever played New Super Mario Brothers? When you go tiny, you run on the surface of the water? Oh, I forgot video game logic. It's at work here. All right, checking the map. You want to go to the side of town that has all of the exits. I thought you were about to say you want to go to the part of the place that uh, advances the game. Well, that's what we're doing. We're going to the <laughs> Golden Temple. Because we're going to get our first magic power. <gasps> you mean besides burning cash? Besides burning cash, I mean a true magic power, like, unique to each character. <laughs> she looks so pissed off. She's intense. <laughs> okay, good point. So we need a fat guy with a big nose to do this, because he can eat a lot of sweets, the fat bastard. Aha! Uh -huh. I was wondering if Obisamaru could uh, get this power. This is where Obisamaru is going to get his moment to shine. His name is Ebisumar. We, we keep saying <laughs> Obisumar because that's his that's his rival. I was, I'm sorry. I was wondering if you were going to catch it. I was doing it on purpose. Up. Oh. So we have three hearts. We gotta eat these candies, and we can do all that and all that shit. We got a time limit, and oh Jesus! Oh God! Why? 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 Oh, oh God! Oh my God! Well, okay. Uh, we got to Oh shit! Dude, this, this is very dangerous. Dude, don't die. Oh, oh man, I'm not gonna make it. I can't get. Oh god! Oh. Oh, you're giving Abisamaru a bad name. Look at him. He's so sad. Oh, that's. Oh man. <laughs> Looks like you suck. Wanna do it again? There's a trick. So, let's take care of that guy. Get that. When you see the door start to open, hide behind one of these. Huh? Oh, I see what you're doing. Aha, uh -huh. there's a trick to it. Still not easy, though, because he starts getting more frequent. And there's still those guys running to get you, and then you gotta worry about getting caught, and... I play Metal Gear Solid, I'm used to this shit. Oh shit! You were saying? I didn't say I ever do a no-hit run. Okay, good point. 
Now, those little uh, doll things, do they appear if you get caught, or do they just appear at random? Oh, okay. They, they just appear to make you sweat, and to, they look almost like the candy, just to fuck with you even more. This is not a nice part of the game. <laughs> Even though it just dropped a candy right in front of me. There you go. It's, it's Symp still not a nice part of the game. <laughs> Sympathy candy. You need it. It's not very nice. So is this like the trial to get magic? Like, you know, beware a kid and a bunch of little dolls attacking you? Each character has their own specific trial for their own specific yep, power yep, that only they yep. can use by using the C up button. This is Ob this is Ibi Sumaros. You got me saying Ibi Sumaro again. <laughs> yes. This is this is Ibi Sumaros, and I would say it is probably the second easiest, well, if you know the trick. No wait, it's the second hardest. My bad. So they get easier than get candy hide. Yeah, that's only because it has a, a gimmick where you have to hide. Oh, good point. It takes more time than anything. But now, we can turn... But now we will go to the Dogo Hot Springs and demonstrate the magic when we get there. See, I always love games that w whenever they have multiple characters, they actually have a use outside of, you know, being the fast guy, being uh, being the the one that can jump high. I really did. I, I like that mechanic a lot where you can switch between characters so you have a little bit of everybody. You, you can you can main as your favorite, but you have to go as the other one at some point. And everyone has their shining moment. For example, if you couldn't guess, this next dungeon is going to be Ebisumaro's dungeon. <gasps> yes, that's my boy! Getting time to shine! His is the second worst dungeon. That's my boy! It's time to oh, shine! Shit, shit. <laughs> Make sure you switch back to your sword, otherwise you're gonna find yourself. Uh, <laughs> or you yeah. can just beat people with the flute. I mean, just call in the dragon! Have them destroy these monsters! Well, like I said, this is a beast's dungeon. Let's rock his him for a little bit. Yes! Make sure he gets some love, because I don't know about you, I never played as him. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ever played as him. Well, I mean, the one Goemon game I played, it was always him. Because Goemon was my favorite. He was, he was my favorite. Dude. dude. So, so press C up, and then there you go. You can't jump, and you can't attack, and you can't switch characters. Well, that makes sense. We can pass through and we realize, wait a minute! <gasps> what? Something's going on here! Oh god! <laughs> I always get set on fire, it seems. You... Your game's in fire, dude. Alright, uh... Let's go this way for now. There's a couple little hidden things here. And a couple, and, oh god. I didn't think this would give me as much problems as I thought it would. Question. First off, actual hot spring. Oh, finally! There we go. Let's go ahead and soak for a bit. You ever been in a hot spring? I've been in a hot tub. And it actually heals you! Yes! Just like they do in real life. He. Yeah! Well, yeah! Th well, think about it. it it makes you feel good. It renews your soul, in a sense. It'd be great if this game had costumes, and then we could uh, have Yaigo in the hot spring, but hey, whatever. I wasn't going to do that. I just well, wanted to be Samaru in there all the time. Well, I, I figured I'd say it before somebody else in the comments said so. I was like, why didn't you go with Yai the hot, in the hot spring? <laughs> so, this is where the camera decides that it doesn't want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> Hey, uh, quick question. Yeah. Are these magical powers unlimited? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, Rock is going on and you his, use his chain pipe for now. Then. And hup. Here we go with the hup. Ah! Shit. See, this is what I mean. You, you have to alternate between everybody. They all get something. Whoa. They all get something to do. And they make it easy, too. It's, like, instantaneous. It's what I preferred over, say, Donkey Kong 64, which, great game as it was, so kind of annoying to have to go back to a barrel and switch a character. And here it's just, oh, boop, I'm this, I'm this guy now. Okay. <laughs> oh, <Tiny>. dumpling. <laughs> I miss that game so much. All right, so now the camera is refusing to cooperate. I am, I am mashing... <laughs> I am mashing oh. R and the C6 as much as possible. I'm zooming in. I'm zooming out. I don't... I can't oh. even... Oh, God, what happened there? Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah. Camera don't like that too much. 
The camera don't like me too much. Not here, not in this spot. I think if this red gate wasn't there, like, if it wasn't there and it was just an invisible wall, I think I could understand that that's like some section of the wall and maybe the camera could pass through so I can fucking see. Nah. Just, uh, just a little bit of adversity. Ah. Oh my gosh, why? I'm so, I'm so mad right now, I'm fucking out. <laughs> Uh, oh. Ah, there you go. Didn't I kill you? He's coming back to say hi and say, Haha, camera doesn't like you. Uh, I gotta get this camera working some- There, oh. okay. Alright, okay. okay, there. Just had to back it up and back it in again. And don't you dare mess this up for me. Are you Come driving on. a car there. while doing this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. There you go. Alright. And now here we go. Gotta make sure that we don't uh. mess this up, because <laughs> literally the dungeon is right up there. It's right up here. Uh. Oh, I guess it doesn't work like that. Oh. Oh well. It shows that the coins can't deflect, and they only go in a straight line. And ah, uh -huh. yay! Yeah, right. we made it. Ooh, the so shoguns. Save our game before we go into the dungeon. <laughs> Actually, one more thing we gotta do. What? Uh. Just one more thing. We gotta do it all over again. Huh? Time to go. What? Yes. Is it here is a silver fortune all. What? <laughs> oh, you tricked me. Oh yeah, and we gotta go back up again, and we'll, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Mystical Ninja Star Oh, this is great. At least I'm cutting away.